This is even better than the OLED Steam Deck. Finally, we have the stable version of Steam OS 3.5. So every deck owner should jump on this update. Valve has been working on 3.5 for almost a year. So this must be a significant improvement over the Steam OS 3.4. There is no doubt that 3.5 was planned for the release of the Steam Deck OLED. But there are many features for the original Steam Deck that can also improve our gaming experience. After updating to the Steam OS 3.5, I believe the most significant improvement is the Quick Resume feature. The speed of Quick Resume has been boosted to another level. It's now crazy fast and almost instant on Steam OS 3.5. I think this is one of the best features of the Steam Deck, and it's incredibly useful, especially for people who are constantly interrupted by their surroundings. The second best feature is that we can now adjust the screen saturation within the Steam OS 3.5 to beat the OLED Steam Deck. This was just a joke, we can't truly beat the OLED, but at least we can enhance the LCD screen to look more vibrant. There are two ways to change the saturation. The first method is to start a game, then press the Steam button, go to Settings, then under Display, select Adjust Display Colors. Here you can slide two bars on the screen to change the screen saturation and color temperature. Just play around with those settings, I'm pretty sure you will find a sweet spot for yourself. Alternatively, you can access the screen color adjustment without launching a game. However, I believe the first method is a better solution, since you typically want to adjust the screen saturation based on your game image. The third significant feature of the Steam OS 3.5 is that now the USB flash drive can be formatted in the gaming mode. Additionally, we can install games onto the USB flash drive directly from the gaming mode. This makes playing any games off a USB drive or external hard drive much more convenient. The next best feature is now we can enable VRR and HDR when you connect your Steam Deck with an external monitor. But just remember, in order to have HDR and VRR work, your external monitor need to support HDR and VRR function. The last big update is that we can now customize the Steam performance overlay. We have the option to turn on and off the overlay information based on our old preference. Here I will show you how to do it step by step. We need to set up this from desktop mode. I will have this Mongo Hub zip file in my video description, so you can just download from there. Once you get this file, just extract the file. Now you should get the Mongo Hub folder and inside the folder we have this preset file. All we need to do is copy the Mongo Hard folder, then head to the home and click Deck. Here, make sure you turn on Show Hidden Files so you can see the Configure folder. Open the Configure folder and paste the Mongo Hard folder in here. Now, go inside the Mongo Hard folder and open up the preset file. Please don't feel panic when you see those letters, it's pretty simple. So, we have preset 1, 2, 3 here which represent three performance overlays. I have preset everything equal to zero in this file, which means do not display that information. If we would like to show any information in each preset, all we need to do is delete equal to zero. I will do an example here. So in the preset one, I only want to display the battery information. So I will delete equal to zero after the battery. In the preset 2, I want to display time, FPS, and battery, so I will delete equal to 0 for each line. In the preset 3, we will leave 4, that means show all the information. After everything is set, make sure you click save. Now we can close this file and go back to the gaming mode. Once we boot into a game and go to the performance overlay, now we can see the overlay 1 only shows the battery information, overlay 2 shows the time, battery, and FPS, and overlay 3 shows all the information. That's pretty much all for how to set this up. 
if you said add, I don't want this anymore, how to remove this? That's pretty easy. All you need to do is delete the Mongo Hut folder inside the configure folder. Now your Steam Deck will get back to the stock performance overlay. We are experiencing many exciting developments in the Steam Deck community, including introduction of the new Steam Deck OLED. However, I believe the Steam OS 3.5 is even more fascinating for the most of original deck owners. That's all for this video. I will talk to you in the next one. Thanks for watching.